bought scores and seven years ago. We created Silicon Valley to distract the people from the real problem in the capital. All right, in this video, I want to talk to you about why Northern Virginia and the DC area is the new Silicon Valley. So let me start by saying that Amazon put their uh, new second, second headquarters here in Northern Virginia in the Crystal City in Arlington. And they did this for a reason, a very strategic reason. So w one of the reasons was that they wanted to strengthen their AWS because AWS has a, um, they have a data center here in Northern Virginia and, or they have data centers here, not just one. It would be kind of silly if they only had one, then it would be prone to failure, but they have multiple data centers here in Nor Northern Virginia and they wanted to expand their East coast, uh, I guess, East coast of the United States powers because they have already in Seattle, they have a bunch of offices and that's where their initial headquarters was initially. So they also wanted to get um, a $10 billion contract with the um, AWS, with the government. and But they didn't actually get that, unfortunately, for them. Uh, Microsoft Azure got that. But they wanted to get closer to the East Coast as well so they can score that uh, contract because a lot of the contracting companies are on the East Coast over here. So another reason why Amazon came to Northern Virginia and not New York is because they knew they could hire a lot of employees here with talent. And they were right. They, they definitely did hire a bunch of employees here because the, the housing costs here have grown and imaginally just look at my house behind me. It's just it's can't even maintain it anymore. It's so expensive. So Amazon got $750 million just to put their uh, second credit headquarters here. Like they got paid to do it. $750 million. That's, that's a lot of, of these White Houses you might be able to buy. <laughs> so the re New York was supposed to also have the second headquarters of Amazon, but they scrapped that idea once everyone hated it and they were protesting against the putting the second headquarters there. And I think the reason why the they were protesting is because it, it raises the cost of living because everyone's going to move there. And New York already has a ridiculous cost of living because it's just like, so expensive to live there and there's not much room for like housing and living because you have to get like an apartment, an expensive apartment that costs like a million dollars a month or maybe like a couple thousand dollars a month. Pretty close. But so they... they I guess rioted and didn't want that to happen. So Amazon didn't put their like another headquarters there, but I, I did hear they put like a bunch of offices there still. So another reason why uh, Northern Virginia or the DC area is becoming a new tech hub is, or a new old tech hub is because they already have a lot of military contracting companies in the area from, <coughs> excuse me, from, because the, the Department of Defense, the Dodd, is so close nearby in DC. So let me give you some history on Silicon Valley. So it was dubbed Silicon Valley um, in the 1970s because because all the silicon. <laughs> so th these military contracting companies in the area are using kind of old technologies, and they they might not be as I guess as powerful as um, the like the Fang companies like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, and whatnot but they still have a, a bunch of power and they use a bunch of technologies. So larger tech companies are moving to the area so to get some of the talent from uh, these military contracting companies. They're trying to like steal the talent, just kind of like they're, they're the talent thieves <laughs> or talent leeches, whatever you want to call them. So another reason this area or Northern Virginia area might grow in talent and technology is because with these with the United States, I guess, airstriking um, Iran earlier this year in January, the stocks in these military contracting companies like went up like, a good amount. I, I don't have a, a number, but um, the, the stocks in these companies soared. And because of that, the, um, these military contracting companies hired a bunch of new employees because of that. And when all these new employees are getting hired. The bigger uh, companies aren't going to hire as many as, well, they're still going to hire a lot, but 
like the bigger companies like Amazon are going to be maybe competing for what these military contracting companies want to do as well. So it'll, it'll be better for the employees. So at the end of the day, it's just more people will be hired at these military contracting, co contracting companies and that'll be better for everyone. <laughs> So Amazon's not the only big company that has offices here. So Google has offices here. Uh, also Facebook is taking a large, large like office space here in Reston Town Center, where Google also is. Um, there's also reports like last year that Microsoft was looking for large blocks of land, of office space here in Reston as well. So it, there's not only Amazon here in Northern Virginia, there's also these big other companies. So there's also these non-fang companies, like these fang, we call them fang feeders. And what they are is they are companies that after you work at them for some time, they people at these companies usually become, they usually start to work at the fang companies, like after a couple of years. So an example of this would be Capital One. So Capital One here is, nor is in Northern Virginia here as well, in Tyson's. So are you tired of working in Silicon Valley and tired of maybe working in the middle of nowhere as well, then Northern Virginia and the DC area could be a place you might want to look at towards getting a new job in technology. And one of the benefits is that the costs of living here are less than Silicon Valley in Seattle. Well, Seattle um, are probably is less than Silicon Valley, but it's another idea if you don't want to live in or work in Silicon Valley. But overall, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe and follow me and, and whatnot. All right, I'll see you guys later.